this is Donna. I'm going to show you the single crochet stitch. It's a nice tight stitch. I'm using an oversized hook and a little bit heavier yarn so you can see what's going on. Now, if you want a row of five single crochets, you would add one to your row of chain stitches. So I have six chain stitches. So that's going to give me a net of five stitches in my row. Now I'm going to skip this first stitch next to the hook. Hold your chain so you see all the V's facing you. See how the back, we have that center ridge bar. Make sure your V's are facing you. Insert your hook and pick up the top of the V of the second stitch. So we're going to skip this stitch right there. So insert your hook, pick up the top of the V, Yarn over, pull through. We have two yarns on the hook. Just simply yarn over and pull through both of them. And now we're going to mark our first stitch. This will really help us on the way back so we don't accidentally drop it. And then our work will be getting skinnier and skinnier and we won't know why. Now once you don't need to do that, just, just continue. Just quit, quit doing that. So insert your hook in the top of the V, yarn over, pull through. You have two remaining, yarn over, pull through. It's that simple. Insert, yarn over, yarn over, pull through, pull through both. Insert, yarn over, yarn over, pull through both. Last stitch, insert, yarn over, yarn over again, pull through both. To start our next row, we're going to turn our work counterclockwise. Make one chain stitch for the height stitch. Now for the single crochet, we start our next row, we work in the first stitch next to the hook. Some of the other larger stitches, we don't do that. For the, for the single crochet, unless the pattern, your pattern says otherwise, go ahead and work into that first stitch next to your hook. So insert your hook in the first stitch. Insert it under both pieces of the top V. See the Vs? So I've inserted my hook and picked up both pieces of the V. Yarn over, pull through, and just like before, yarn over and pull through the remaining two yarns. And now, this is the first stitch again, so I'm just going to mark it. And after a little practice, you can quit marking. You can just use a colored paper clip. Okay. Insert, pick up, pick up both pieces of the V, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both remaining yarns. I'll show you one more time. Let me go real quick. Show you one more time how to start that new row. And now you see this? If we didn't mark it, you could, if you had, you can imagine if you had a smaller hook, things would be tighter and you could easily skip that stitch. So we're going to take a good look at that. Go ahead and remove our marker. Put our hook, pick up both pieces of the V, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. And again, turn our work counterclockwise, do one chain stitch for the height, insert our hook into the first V, last stitch of the prior row, first V right next to the hook. Make sure you get both pieces of it, see that? Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both yarns. And again, first stitch, I'm going to mark it. So insert, pick up both pieces of the V. You do this last row here so you can see my work is nice and square. And our markers are just so we don't accidentally drop that stitch. See, I can take off my marker. Pick up both pieces of the V, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both remaining loops. See, now I still have five. One, two, three, four, five. My work's nice and square. I've not dropped any stitches. And I hope that gets you started with the single crochet stitch. Thank you.